good to have a bit of the past and present here with us today. Good evening to you both. Thanks for joining us on 360. No, thank you for having me. Um, yeah, it should be good. Very much looking forward to uh, wearing the blue collar jersey and um, hopefully getting a win against the Hawks would be nice. How special is it to mix with the past champions of the club and especially this great man? Yeah, it's great. Uh, I was asked the question, do I know a bit about his, uh, his history with the club and his record? I know about his, uh, <laughs> his troubles with the tribunal, but uh, no, it's, uh, it's been great. The, um, I guess the day you saw with the, the, the past players and, and getting the shoots um, was terrific. I got to meet Bruce Dool for the first time. He's a very hard man to get a hold of. Um, but as sort of Cripper alluded to, just the humility of um, the older crop of guys. Obviously, 16 premierships is nothing, you know, nothing to laugh at. It's an incredible achievement. And um, yeah, I guess for us as players, we certainly look up to that and respect that, and uh, really admire how they went about it. And hopefully, we can, you know, sort of write our own pages in history um, going forward. Nice mix with the current boys. Yeah, yeah, they're they're a great bunch of guys, and um, yeah, it's it, uh, you know. Hopefully they're going to bring, you know, number 17 to the club and uh, that's what we're all hoping for. Do you know that Reese won the North Smith in... 87. Did you tell him or did you know that? No, I may have, <laughs> may have looked it up beforehand. Um, no, he, uh, you know, that was a fantastic team. Um, 87, 95, I myself was born in 97, but uh, <laughs> I've heard a lot about, uh, I guess, the Baby Blues back in, in 87 and the way they went about it and then, uh, I guess, the consistency and the the way they were able to uh, get back in there and, and do a job in 95. Well, I've got highlights of 87, mm. Reese Jones playing on Dermot Breton. Can you put your assistant coach's hat on? Sure. And just tell us what he's doing well and what he's doing poorly. We can't fall over. No, the record does oh. say he kept Dermot oh, You get, you get a week so. for that now. <laughs> that was all right. No, he did a very <laughs> impressive job by the sound of it, so... A bit more free-flowing back then. I think he got away with a bit more, as you said, Robbo, but... Um, no, it'd be amazing to play on a day like that, that's for sure. You know, it was a wonderful memory for, for you, of course. Yeah, that's why you play football. That's why you turn up week in, week out during the winter and the cold nights. And, um, yeah, that's, that's what it's all about. That's where you want to be. Can I ask you a, a, a greater question about playing for Carlton? Such a sure. big club. And you've got to be in one part of it really proud to be playing for a club like Carlton. But is there a side there It's a bit of a burden as well with the rich history that this football club has had? Yeah, I think there's certainly an element of that and I think the club probably felt that for a long period of time, um, certainly in recent decades and uh, I myself have been at the club nearly a decade now and... Oh yeah, well. Back in sort of 2015, 2016 we certainly were struggling and there was an element of, yes, it was a, it's a heavy backpack um, sort of to carry around but at the same time vossi has been brewing it one, obviously admiring and, and respecting what happened in the past, but uh, trying to write our own pages in the history books, as I said, and um, oh, I think the last three years, and, and certainly in Vossi's tenure, we've been able to build a, a great foundation um, from a cultural point of view and an on-field identity, and I think the way we've gone about our football has certainly been um, something that the fans can be proud of, and, uh, yeah, hopefully we can show a bit in the last three weeks and, and do a job for them. You didn't win the weekend. It was a cracking game of physical football, what, without the points, what did it do for the psyche of the, the team? I think uh, it's, a, it's a funny one. Uh, if you watch behind the goals after the game, uh, you probably wouldn't know who, who won the game. Um, and that was something that we sort of looked at today in the review. Uh, you know, it's, it, it, games do come down to a kick occasionally and we didn't uh, obviously execute on the day, but the ability for the boys just to get around Gov and, and understand that many moments led up to that. Uh, we certainly didn't play our best football, but our last quarter, I think, was some of the best football we've played in, in recent times. Um, and the stats certainly showed that, and I think the way we played certainly showed that. So we can take great confidence out of that, and probably hurts a little bit more it was against the Pies. But um, yeah, going into the next three weeks, great confidence. It was a us. great sign, that. That's what you're talking about there of all the players going up to, to Gov as one, really. And, and I think Kripper put out a, a, a social media, you know, we win together, we lose together. Sure. Sign of a, of a, a bonded team, yep. what we saw on the weekend. Yeah, no, I think, uh, and again, I sort of, uh, you'd be silly not to learn from sort of past mistakes, I guess. And uh, two years ago, they also broke our hearts and, and uh, sort of, you know, that, that round 23 game when we just needed to yeah. draw or win and, and we'd make finals. Um, 
sort of saw the reaction of the boys were on the ground, were probably isolated on islands a little bit. And again, oh, I think I'm just proud of the way the boys went about it. And I think Vossi was, and we'll continue to uh, to go about it that way for sure. Bit of an injury fallout from the game, though. So mm. obviously, chair of the hamstring. Good to hear that Charlie Kerno's ankle's yes. okay, so he should be right to or available to play this weekend. But Matt Cottrell and that broken yeah. shoulder out for the rest of the season. How much of a loss Oof. is he? Yeah, it's tough. I mean, we've had a few, uh, but teams have uh, you know been quite unlucky in recent times, and, and you're seeing it affecting some of the top teams as well. So. We've had a great mentality, a squad mentality of next man up, and um, we certainly needed that at the back end of last year, and we're going to need it now. So, Cots has been terrific, so you can't fault you know, the way he's gone about himself. Tom DeConning as well. Adam Trail will do his best to get back on the field, but, um, yeah, we've got some soldiers to, to come up and, and do a job for us, for sure. You've got a great support network at Carlton with the former players with the Spirit of Carlton yeah. group. How, how, how are you viewing the past five weeks from... from from the current Carlton team? Well, obviously, like most supporters, you, you know, I mean, you, you, you ride the, the good and, and the bad with the players. And, um, and, and you know, look, we, we see the potential in the players and we believe, they, uh, like most supporters do, that there's a premiership with this, um, or, or a couple yeah. of premierships with this uh, side. So they're, they're very talented and um, this guy, you know, all Australian, should, should be, be anyway. Yeah, should yeah. Be. And, and no doubt about that. But, uh, uh, yeah, it's, it, we just hope that they can achieve what we we're, uh, were lucky enough to do in our day and um, it'll be great for the Carlton Football Club and for these guys. Much does that mean to you, hearing the high praise from uh, the club it's, great? It's good. As, as sort of David alluded to, we do get to see a lot of the past players quite regularly and they pop into the club here and there and they're part of the coterie groups and, um, I mean, it means the world to, to have their support. And, Again, we just want to do them proud each week. Oh, this is going to be a massive game. Have you got your tickets? Oh, you don't we need don't a ticket. Need You're going to be... We don't need Well, for fans <laughs> watching on, grab your tickets now through Ticket Tech. This is going to be huge on Sunday. Thank you so much to both of you for, for coming in and good luck on Sunday. Thank you very much. Go to the Blues. We're going to... <laughs>